we want to find the area of the region bounded by the polar curve, r equals two times e raised to the power of theta on the closed interval from pi over two to pi. To determine the area bounded by a polar curve, we use the area formula, area equals one half times the integral of r squared integrated with respect to theta from alpha to beta. Where this formula comes from first, approximating the area bounded by the polar curve using circular sectors as we see here. Remember the formula for the area of a circular sector is area equals one half r squared theta. And now as the number of circular sectors increases, the area of the circular sectors approach the area bounded by the polar curve as we see here on the right. Therefore, if we take the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum of the circular sectors, this is equal to the definite integral given here. So going back to our example, alpha is equal to pi over two and beta is equal to pi, where the terminal side of pi over two radians would be here, and the terminal side of pi radians would be here, and therefore we're integrating from here to here, accumulating the area bounded by the polar curve, meaning we're finding the area of this shaded region here. So to set this up, we'll have the area is equal to one half times the integral of r squared, which should be two times e raised to the power of theta squared d theta from pi over two to pi. Now let's go ahead and evaluate this. Notice how two squared would be four, four times one half is two, so we'd have two times the integral of e raised to the power of, when we have powers of powers we multiply, this would be e raised to the power of two theta, d theta from pi over two to pi. Notice here we'll have to perform u substitution, where u would be equal to two theta, and therefore differential u equals two d theta. So if we divide both sides by two, notice how one half du equals d theta. So we write this in terms of u, we would have two times integral of, this would be e to the u, but d theta is equal to one half du, so let's go ahead and factor out the one half. And then notice how these limits of integration are in terms of theta. We need to write them in terms of u. So if theta is pi over two and u equals two times theta, u would be two times pi over two or just pi. And when theta is pi, u is two pi. So we have just the integral of e to the power of u du from pi to two pi. So the antiderivative would just be e to the u So we have e to the two pi minus e to the pi, which would be the exact area of this shaded region. Notice how we could factor out e to the pi if we wanted to. This is equivalent to e to the pi times the quantity e to the pi minus one. When multiplying the bases are the same, we add the exponents. e to the pi times e to the pi is e to the two pi. And of course, e to the pi times one is e to the pi. So either of these forms would be the exact value or the exact area in square units. Let's also get our decimal approximation though. So we have e raised to the power of two pi, right arrow, minus e raised to the power of pi, which would be approximately 512.3510. Again, that would be square units. Because we have the graphing calculator though, let's go into the original def integral and verify that our work is correct. Let's make sure we are in radian mode, so I'll press the mode key. Notice how we are in radian mode as well as polar mode. So we'll go back to the home screen. So we'll enter 0.5 for one half, and then math. Function integration is option nine, so I'm gonna just press nine. We 
which brings up the integral. The lower limit of integration is pi over two. Now if you have an older version of the T84 or E3, your entry will look a little bit different. Right arrow, upper limit is pi. Right arrow, the integrand in parentheses, we have two times e raised to the power of theta. Right arrow, close parenthesis, squared. Right arrow, the variable of integration is theta, and enter. So notice how this does verify that our work is correct. Either of these would be the exact area, and here's our decimal approximation. I hope you found this helpful.